an exciting one to end the day off, of course. The CIS showdown, Gambit versus Virtus Pro. You are on a timer, right? You don't want to really go late game versus a morph. Not at all. And how do you take these objectives early on? Maybe with a rotation like this one. Let's see if they can burst him down. They've got the Maledict. And with the Swashbuckle, should easily be enough damage to take down no one. Bringing oh. in supports. FNG may go down for it. In fact, first no one. one. <laughs> oh, he'll take that. One versus three. He claims the first, but he does die. Sure, the numbers are even, but as we say, with these drafts, with the course that VP have, they're going to be pretty happy. If they can do this the second time, this would be pretty nice. They're going to have TP back up coming in, but is there really any sort of help that can be there for no one? There is not. He will fall, Zayat. and now FN, he can roll over and look for a second kill as he's straight over to Zayas, picks that up as well. Gambit this time, it's clean. Two kills, knows that contesting a morph in lane is not something he wants to be doing this early on. Top, they will try and make a move on to Kuman. FN leads him with a swashbuckle. The bounces are out a couple of times, but he's already shifting into ah. strength. He's got the waveform. Rolling Thunder's coming out. They do have the additional control. Is it going to be anywhere near close enough to kill him, though? The Maledict Maybe. will continue to tick him down low. There's a little bit of backup here. Kuman pops the stick. They he will it. get killed off. A right. very tough kill for Gambit to pull off, but they do it. They Sorry. knock Kuman out of the game. And also, once you get that Maelstrom, you will farm well. well here we have. Uh, a good bit of setup. Shash, though, straight in with a spear. They're looking to burst resolution down low. Pop the stick charges. Dream's in trouble. Jumps into the creep. Infests up. He tries to heal up, but he's in trouble as the Ayats drops down the Doom. They kill off the Nakes, and now they look for more. Shashlow and FNG. Can they turn this? There's the Maledict. The Death Ward down. FNG is going to be able to make Zayas pop by the looks of it. Now the rotation in as well from Vampire with the stolen plasma field nuking them down. Finally, the kill on Zayas. He does tick out to the Maledict. FN's now had time to turn up, and he's going to go straight for no one. Over he goes with the Rolling Thunder. Another bounce back. They're surrounding him. Shasha is looking to line up the spear. Straight into the cliff he goes. Jump forward with the shield crash. They'll burst down no one. They'll take another. It's a three for three at the moment in this engagement. Is it there going to be any more solo? Can he get Vampire in time? He can. Triple solo kill. <laughs> with the cleanup. The triple kill. Ench support. Drop them maybe. Maybe one day we will see uh, the, the Ench Agonims in a pro game. But no, definitely one of those zags that you sort of forget exists. As uh, it's just never ever built. Top lane Shasha is laying down the arena. Resolution and Zayas will quickly just turn. Zayas does have the Doom available if he wants to drop it down for this one, as they'll surround him. In fact, Zayas, he's got more in his mind. He's actually running down FNG as well, knowing that he can leave Shashlo to be killed off by Rezo and Solo. Now FN turns Doom. up, but there's the Doom straight down. He needs help, and he's going to get it, because the lift up there as well as the Death Ward. FNG, again, finding these opportunities to line up the ult and kill off the heroes and make sure the space is there, for, unless they can find a good arena opportunity. They have to good he wants to drop the ult here, see who he, who he can catch out. He's heading straight for no one. Will manage to catch him, but no, the dodge is there. The Yule Scepter is complete, so no one, he can break that combo, avoid it. A stolen Doom is thrown down by Vampire onto no one, but no one is tanky enough that he can wait it out, back off. And in fact, he's already starting to move back in as he knows that his team, they can continue to fight through this. There's no arena now as he's just walking straight forward. You can tell that this man was doomed as he's showing no fear whatsoever as no one just charges over straight towards FNG. FNG does get the cast count and another spear. The setup's there into Shashlo lockdown and no one will fall. He went too far but now there's the extra core backup. Kuman zips across with a waveform and VP will clean up too for the loss of their mid. Around mid, Gambit getting deep. No one in Rezo. Not oh. by the time. In fact, Rezo's going to jump in and look to start things off. They'll turn towards him, drop down the arena. Shashlo's scared, though. Zayats is coming in with a wraparound. He does have the Doom available if he wants to drop it, but if FNG again just lays down the Maledict, the Death Lord, it kills Zayats off before he gets the chance to throw down the ultimate. Now FN's turn up, goes in with the swashbuckle. Kuman's trying to get in there as long with resolution, gets the two-man stun into the double edge. Dream turns towards Rezo, Vampire will fall. Kuman has been disarmed for now by Dream's Halberd. Solo finally gets clipped out of the game by the swashbuckle. Dream staying on the target onto Rezo. Rezo's trying to run away. Dream, he needs a few more hits to really push him off the edge. Meanwhile, Kuman's just killing off the squishy heroes on the back line. Dream will finally be able to kill off that Centaur. Absolutely, yeah, that, that extra sort of movement speed would have allowed Zyatz to close the gap. But choosing to save it, maybe for more defensive maneuvers, they feel strong. They know that they'd rather just save Stampede for situations when their heroes are in trouble. As Kuman starting to show off the power that he's built up on this morph this game. Up to the high ground they go. VP no, they have this this Wait. edge. It's got to the point where the morph is very strong. No one's going to be dragged into the base. Pops the BKB. It's back and available. The FNG drops the Death Ward trying to kill off no one. We'll bring him quite low, but they're just rolling over them. This morph, he's got to this point. BKB and Stampede behind him, and you just die. Oh, no, FNG. 
He's able to force up to the high ground. He will live this time. Zayats, he's managed to find the Doom opportunity onto FN, so he's forcing FN entirely away from the rest of the team. Shashlo does drop down the arena in an attempt to try and escape, but the Link and Yul's combo is there for no one to start building up the damage. Shashlo trying to walk off. He goes into the Mars form, Kuman, to try and spear him to a tree. It doesn't connect, but it doesn't matter. He's got the nuke damage again. Kuman, if he isn't shifting... He's got to find Kuman. Oh, oh, oh. Tries, but instant Yules there. It's the two man who's done. Dream got caught in this as well. He will turn and start the life steal off resolution, but the force and the stampede gets Rezo back out to safety. Zayats has been caught in the base, but Solo and Nolan, they're coming in to help out. Zayats has got the score tough movement speed to get out of there. Shashlo will fall. They'll head over to Dream. The life steal is dead. There's four gone on Gambit. VP, they'll take the mid rank, GG. and it is. It's over. They know it. They cannot play their draft from this point onwards. VP, they'll take this game on win. 28 minutes. It's in great straight up counters. SF versus the Void Spirit should be an easy lane for no one. They definitely will threaten and Ixus Vampire here. Oh, he's been chased by Solo. That's Solo's got enough impetus. It is. That's first blood for Solo. He was killing it last game and he's killing it already this game. One minute in, first blood for the edge. Uh, quite a bit of damage with the to retaliate, but Kuman's able to keep it safe. The big creep wave's going to be coming in underneath his tower, so Kuman should be able to pick this one up quite nicely. Top lane. Again, getting aggressive. The Fisher blocking off Dream. Rezo's trying to chase him down. Dream's trying to run. One more hit will do it. Rezo this time finds the big one. They killed the carry on the top lane. They will, they might take down FNG if the blocks are good. And they also killed Centaur on that wow. safe lane. And yeah, the blocks, they... Oh, oh. Wait with the fair fight. Now Rezo, he's diving this one. He's definitely going for that double kill for Rezo. You can really see that he understands what he needs to do on this lane. Now, sort of again, secure this bounty rune here. Zephan, well, I say secure. He doesn't want to step forward. He feels a little scared. Let's it go. They lose themselves there. AA. FNG will fall. Zephan, he's, he's got to back out. He should still have extra mobility, and he does. Mm. W's up. Doesn't get him up to the high ground, but will get him. They've got to find some sort of way of breaking down VP's strengths. No one in the mid lane. He's the focus. Zayats is going to be there to back him up behind. Fisher's out as soon as they jump in. They're popping the stampede. The Remnant will grab him back, but Zayats, he just walks in. He's set up perfectly for a two-man slam. The Requiem pushes them away. Zayats is still alive, gets the stick out, and now back up's in. The Ice Blast is flying over. Will not clip onto Zayats. Zayats will live. Shashla was full, as well as FNG. Exus Rampa is able to pick up Solo, but is Gambit trying to make a play, and it does cool, not man. end up in a good trade at all for them, especially with Kuman heading over and helping no one clean up a double kill. A three for one trade in favor of VP off the back of a Gambit smoke. I mean, it feels like for the most part of this game, we've just seen Gambit, the three or the four of them, just trying to run at heroes. It's not working. They're not getting these kills. No oh. one. And I've got the Fisher block out. No one's trying to get in a position to knock him back, but Shashlo will escape with the stampede. They'll turn towards Zayats, try for the Shaker instead. He's frozen up by the cold feet and will fall. They'll get the Shaker. Good defense by Gambit, at least. Maybe they can catch Rezo here. It's been a while since they've been able to take down a core, but now Rezo will be found alone. They will finally manage to take one of these big old cores out of the game as Rezo is isolated and killed off. Now that is one that Gambit can celebrate, but that is certainly not. No one kills off Dream. Dream. On his own. On his own. The Yule's combo, it does it. It blows up the Terra Blade. Blink from AM is easy to steal, and it's super uh, good for you. There's also the Fissure, the Roar. See, in the, the river, Solo, he tries to poke at this outside of Invis, but there's backup there for FNG. Solo, still alive, actually. They don't quite kill him off. A Fissure's out. Solo is still living. He's backing away. He's going to survive this, and now VP, they can turn on them. They're, they're trapped in as well. The Fissure's blocked them in. Vampire tries to TP out. They've got the damage to kill him off before he gets away. As they'll chase on. FNG is in trouble, Zayats has got Fisher back up once more. Shashlo does jump in, goes for the two-man hoof stop to try and save them, but the Echo Slam's available. He's only just gone and killed himself as well. FN will slide across to try and get something in return, but he gets nothing. Insta crit and Dezo, like you just mentioned, but no Yules, no resetting tools. And because of that, if he gets clipped by any disable, he's dead. He's gonna stampede to try and lead in. Solo's there on the front lines, they'll jump across. They will find resolution. BKB's out on Dream, so he can pot the BKB in the meta, commits for the kill on the Beastmaster, and will find it. The rest of VP, they'll wait it out. Kites out, Dreams BKB. Solo is running away. FN's going to try and chase Solo. Goes for the TP out. He's not going to make it away. FN able to lay down the remnant in time. Solo pops the essence ring. He'll take a bit of a beating, but they'll finally be able to push him over the edge. Vampire takes the kill with the Fade Bolt. It's a difficult choice to go for. A difficult call, very. It's the focus. They'll try for the jump. See if they can take him down the once. They're bringing him low. Mantis popped. He tries to blink out, but the remnant is there to God. control him. They'll kill off the ages. 
Can they do it again, though? It doesn't look like they feel that they can. They'll back away. They don't want to try and bite off more than they can chew. They'll, they'll just accept the, the Aegis kill. Maybe they can try and get on top of someone else. There's the block off from Zayat. Puts a stop to the chase. Now Solo, you see him just posturing aggressively. Starts to run into the faces of Gambit. Shashlo will attempt the jump forward and go in for the hoof stomp, but he's been roared, stunned up. There's the jump from Zayas. He's locking down the center and the Terra Blade. Shashlo will fall. Dream will put the Metamorphosis in an attempt to turn things around, and with his BKP, he's stepping forward. They kill off Solo. They'll head towards Zayas. They'll get the two supports. Double kill for FN. Two really, really good kills for Gambit. You did commit meta again without taking an objective. And no one knows. Straight in onto FN. Now back. that they know that they cannot fight on, the BKB's gone on Dream. Kuman blinks out once again to kite him up. It's four dead on Gambit. Dream's the last one alive. There's no BKB, no meta left for him to fight back. As it's a team wipe. VP, they are cruising through Gambit this series. VP have been very calculated with how they've lost their heroes this game. As there's the jump. Rezo will be found. That's certainly a bigger one. Straight, straight back into the ice bars, but Rezo's actually able to turn, get the raw off, and Rezo, he can walk away from this. They weren't able to commit. VP's been given time to get in. Shashlo gets destroyed by Kuman. As Gambit are just forced to back off once more. No one blinks in. Does get stunned up by the stolen raw. FM with the BKB is trying to burst no one down, but the opportunity's there for no one to pop the BKB. Kuman, he's just cleaning them up on the back lines. It's a triple kill for him. Jumps over to Dream. There's it's a, it's uh, not, that's it really yeah. is. This series, it was one big GG as VP. <laughs> they, they're on another level.